Hey, what is up everyone? Danny and Alex in this video, we're going to be talking about the mount position and a submission every beginner should know. All right, so from the mount position, once I've attained a dominant position on my opponent, if this was a street fight, there's going to be common reactions from the bottom person, right? So he might try to A, turn to his stomach, which I will just let him roll and take the back and choke him out. He might try to extend his arms and push my chest and I'll just swivel past my leg and attack the arm lock. He might also try to push my legs or my hips, which will make him vulnerable if this was a street fight for the punches to the face. So as a last resort, lots of times what they're going to do is cover their face as such. All right, so this gives me the perfect opportunity to attack one of the most basic submission holes we have in Jiu Jitsu, which is the Americana. Now what happens here is this, take a look. I wanna isolate his arm using both of my arms. So I like to grab at the wrist and the elbow. This gives me the most leverage possible and prevents me to have to use all of my might, which is my strength. Now the moment I get to here, I'll connect my elbow and frame his head like this, all right? Now I use the opposite hand and use the palm going up towards the ceiling to latch underneath his arm and grab my own wrist. Once I'm here, I use the paintbrush effect and pull the elbow down towards my own knee. Now, lots of times, I'm not gonna be fighting erect and postured up like this, okay? Because if I have a very strong and explosive opponent underneath me, I'm gonna lose my balance and I'll fall right off. So I'm gonna be more connected chest to chest as such. I might even be holding on to his head. Now from here, I'll use the same technique, but as a variation, I'm gonna chase his wrist grab it. Now the moment he feels his arm is trapped, he's going to want to bend naturally and bring his arm in. Now my opposite hand is going to go inside, connect itself to the wrist, and now I'll, I'll go and attack the same submission lock from here. When we do this, make sure you take your time. Don't chase the arm. So if I was here and his arm is near my leg, I don't want to be chasing the arm here. I'm just going to wait and eventually, the opponent's gonna bring the arm up to try to escape, and that's when you trap it, all right? Now, from here, we go around, push the face, trap the wrist, and now here we go. Now, one of the common mistakes is people will grab with a C-clamp grip like this, meaning the thumb is gonna go around the wrist. Now, this is a very weak grip because if he extends the arm, I'll lose the grip. So always latch on with five fingers, the full palm like this. Now it makes it hard for him to escape his arm. The other common mistake is when people get to here, they raise the elbow, but they stop here. All they do is stretch the arm up. You need to bring it up and slide it down, which gives that effect to attack the shoulder. Now there's one more angle that you guys haven't seen when we did this technique, is the opposite side. And I'll turn this way so you guys can see is you want to ensure you latch on so you didn't get pushed over. So once I attack this Americana lock and I get to here, I'm going to open my right knee on the side of the arm I'm attacking as a base, but this one will lower itself and shoot towards the sky. See, my foot is going to point towards the ceiling. Now my hip is snug against my opponent. I'll also prevent punches just in case by moving my face in this direction. Now I can attack the submission hold. These things are going to prevent from you falling off of your opponent if they try to push your hips so you don't get rolled over. 